Have you ever wondered how the Rothschild family, one of the most influential families in the world, emerged from the obscurity of the Frankfurt ghetto to the epicenter of global finance? The story begins with a man named Meyer Amschel Rothschild. Born in the late 18th century, his journey to prominence was anything but ordinary. Starting as a humble money changer and dealer in rare coins, his keen eye for opportunity led him to the bustling world of banking. But before that, he served as a clerk at a banking house in Hanover. The experience he gained there was invaluable. It was a stepping stone that would eventually lead him back to Frankfurt, where he set up his own firm. His business acumen, combined with an unyielding determination to succeed, soon saw his venture flourish. And so, from these modest beginnings, the foundation of the Rothschild dynasty was laid. Did you know the Rothschilds played a pivotal role in the Napoleonic Wars, financing the British war effort against Napoleon? The second son of Mayor Amschel Rothschild, Nathan Mayer Rothschild, was the man behind this strategic move. In the early 19th century, Europe was a battlefield. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French military and political leader, was at the peak of his power, and Britain was one of his main adversaries. To sustain their war efforts against the French, the British needed a steady influx of funds, and Nathan Mayer Rothschild was there to provide it. But this was not just a financial investment for the Rothschilds. It was also an opportunity. Nathan Mayer Rothschild was a man of foresight and understood the potential of information. He utilized carrier pigeons, a seemingly ordinary bird, to accomplish extraordinary tasks. These pigeons relayed messages between his firm in London and continental Europe, giving him an edge in the financial markets. While others waited for news to trickle in through conventional means, Nathan got his information swiftly, directly from the source. This advantage allowed the Rothschilds to make informed decisions faster than their competitors, a factor that contributed significantly to their success. The use of these pigeons was not just a technological innovation, it was a strategic masterstroke. It not only provided Nathan with a steady stream of information, but also ensured that his firm was always one step ahead of the rest. This involvement in the Napoleonic Wars was a defining moment for the Rothschilds. Not only did they finance a war, but they also revolutionized the way information was shared across borders. By doing so, they solidified their position in the financial world, setting the stage for the Rothschild's influence that would span continents and centuries. Their involvement in the war and innovative communication methods solidified the Rothschild's position in the financial world. This was a significant step in the Rothschild's journey, and their story doesn't end here. Let's delve deeper into the Rothschild saga in the next scene. The mid-19th century was the era of railways, and guess who was at the forefront of this transportation revolution? As the world was captivated by the potential of steam-powered locomotion, the Rothschild family saw an opportunity. They recognized the immense potential of railways as a transformative force for Europe's economy and society. As such, they played a pivotal role in bankrolling the construction of railway lines across the continent. From France to Austria, from Italy to Germany, the Rothschilds were instrumental in knitting together a network of steel and steam that would forever change the face of Europe. But their ambitions didn't stop at the Atlantic's edge. They saw potential across the ocean, in the vast, untamed expanses of the United States. One notable instance was their investment in the Illinois Central Railroad. This was no ordinary railway project. It was a monumental endeavor that connected the agricultural heartland of the Midwest with the bustling ports of the Gulf of Mexico. It was a lifeline that transformed the American Midwest, sparking economic growth and development in its wake. World War II was a dark period for the Rothschilds, but did you know about their subtle acts of resistance and bravery? This infamous war brought about a chilling era for the Rothschilds, what with their assets being seized by the Nazis across several countries. A grim period indeed, but let's delve a little deeper into the shadows. The Rothschilds, known for their banking prowess and vast wealth, found themselves targeted. Their assets, painstakingly accumulated over centuries, were seized in a sweeping campaign by the Nazis. 
Imagine, if you will, entire fortunes wiped out overnight. Yet the Rothschilds were more than their wealth. They were a resilient force, unbowed in the face of adversity. Unknown to many, the Rothschilds played a pivotal role in aiding Jewish refugees. They provided resources, safe havens, and even facilitated escape routes for those fleeing the Nazi regime. They were, in essence, silent heroes working in the backdrop of a war-torn world. But their efforts didn't stop there. They also supported resistance against the Nazi occupation. It was a dangerous game to play, but the Rothschilds, undeterred, risked their lives for the greater good. They covertly funded resistance groups, providing them the means to fight back against oppression. This resistance, fueled by the Rothschild's support, played a significant role in undermining the Nazi regime. The Rothschilds, despite their wealth and influence, were not immune to the horrors of the war. They, too, faced persecution, and yet, they did not falter. Their courage and resilience during this time were nothing short of extraordinary. They stood tall, using their resources to aid those in need and to resist the forces of tyranny. In the face of adversity, the Rothschilds showed resilience and courage. Their actions during World War II were a testament to their strength of character, their unwavering spirit, and their commitment to justice. This chapter of their story is a powerful reminder that wealth and influence can be used for the greater good, even in the darkest of times. In the wake of World War II, the Rothschilds were instrumental in the reconstruction of Europe. But how much do you know about their philanthropic efforts? As Europe lay in ruins from the devastating war, the Rothschilds emerged as benevolent patrons, funding numerous educational and cultural projects. They believed in the power of knowledge and culture to heal the war-torn continent and restore its spirit. But their philanthropy didn't stop at supporting schools and museums. The Rothschilds also championed initiatives aimed at promoting unity among European nations. A prime example of this was their backing of the establishment of the European Coal and Steel Community. This initiative fostered cooperation among former adversaries, laying the groundwork for what would later become the European Union. Their philanthropic endeavors extended their influence beyond the realm of finance, playing a significant role in shaping Europe's post-war recovery. The Rothschilds' commitment to rebuilding a united Europe demonstrates their belief in the power of unity and cooperation. Their philanthropy extended their influence beyond the realm of finance, shaping Europe's post-war recovery and unity. The Rothschilds have diversified their interests over the years, but are you aware of their commitment to environmental conservation? The family's ventures have expanded beyond the realm of banking, reaching into industries as diverse as technology and agriculture. But their influence doesn't stop there. They've also made strides in the sphere of environmental conservation. The Rothschilds have funded projects aimed at preserving biodiversity and combating climate change. They understand that the health of our planet is just as important as the health of our economy. So they're using their wealth to make a difference, investing in a more sustainable future for us all. The Rothschilds continue to influence the world, not just through their financial prowess, but also through their commitment to the environment. The Rothschilds' influence and power have given rise to countless conspiracy theories. But what's truth and what's fiction? Some theorists suggest they control the world's central banks, manipulating economies for personal gain. Others claim they've had a hand in starting wars, using conflict as a business opportunity. Rumors of their sway over media and political landscapes persist, alongside tales of occult practices tied to their bloodline. Then, there are stories of assassinations and cover-ups, suggesting a dark underbelly to their power. Each theory more sensational than the last, painting a picture of an omnipotent family pulling the strings behind the scenes. Unraveling the truth from the fiction surrounding the Rothschilds is a complex task, one that continues to fascinate and challenge researchers worldwide.